remain standing for the invocation. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for each day that we're able to be here in this place that you created for us. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and for the sacrifice that he made on the cross to provide us a way back to you. Thank you for protecting us as we live our lives here on this earth. Thank you for your provision that you give us each and every day. Thank you for your love and mercy. And we gather here today to honor the new nursing graduates from Gulf Coast State College. I pray for each and every one of the graduates that you would take care of them as they go throughout their careers that you have placed on their path. I pray, Lord, that each one would possess the, the fruit of the Spirit that is written in your holy word in Galatians 5.22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I pray that you will give them compassion for each patient that they encounter. I pray that you will give them great courage to face whatever comes their way daily. I pray, Lord, that you will give them strength to go through each day and every day, regardless of what happened the day before. I pray, Lord, that you will give them patience to care for the sick and that you will give them words of wisdom to speak truth to those in their care. Be with each graduate as we go through this graduation ceremony. Help us to always remember to give you thanks for what you have done for us and to give you thanks for what you continue doing in our lives. We love you and we thank you. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. So welcome to our fall 2021 pinning ceremony. As the coordinator of the Associate Degree Nursing Program, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the, to the pinning ceremony. I would like to recognize the platform guest. Uh, seated in the first chair is Mr. Ira Bonner, who is providing the invocation and the benediction today. Uh, Laura Justice is the chair of the far side, who is the chair of the division, uh, health chair division, who is presenting the congratulatory remarks today. And seated to her left is Miss Nancy Gibson, who will be providing the history and significance of the nursing pen. And next is Miss April Yates, seated on, on the left of Miss Gibson, who will place the pens on the students as they walk across the stage today. So today we are very pleased to be able to present a live ceremony to celebrate this momentous milestone, even though the number of guests is limited due to the ongoing pandemic. This pinning ceremony remarks the completion of one of the most rigorous and demanding programs the program has, the college has to offer. I would like to take a moment to thank the students as well as the nursing faculty and support staff for their hard work and dedication during these past four demanding semesters. The faculty and staff have worked diligently to provide a quality nursing education to the students under extremely challenging conditions, I might add. So I'd like to take a moment for the faculty to stand to be recognized, please. All here in this this row here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would also like to thank Laura Justice, Chair of the Health Science Division um, Program, for her uh, support and guidance through these challenging times, and Dr. Holly Keener. Is Dr. Keener here? And I'd like her to stand. Would you like to stand? This is Justice, this is Dr. Oh, this is Holly Justice. Okay. Without their support and guidance, uh, it, uh, it would be very difficult to get through these times. And it has been challenging, I might add. So I'd like to turn the, to turn the podium over now to Laura Justice, the Health Science Division Chair, for her congratulatory remarks. Hang on, I need glasses. Good afternoon and welcome again to the Fall 2021 Gulf Coast State College Associate Degree Nursing Pinning Ceremony. This is a very special day for these graduates as it marks the culmination of two years of intense academic and clinical training. 
Associate and science degree nursing programs are rigorous, and this group has persevered together through some unprecedented times. I'm not sure of the path that each graduate here has traveled, but it's very likely that many of you began your journey taking prerequisite courses before, during, and or after Hurricane Michael. Then you kept on rolling right into a global pandemic that began in the spring of 2020 when you entered this program of study. The road to success has been especially challenging for this group of graduates who basically completed their entire nursing education, education during what we have fondly termed COVID-style learning environment. Graduates, I would like to take this opportunity to, opportunity to thank each of you for remaining patient and flexible during all the CDC updates, accreditation mandates, and executive orders that guided how we delivered instruction to you during your time with us. Virtual lectures, online assignments, Zoom classes, lockdown browsers for testing, clinical simulations, you name it, we tried it, and you hung in there with us, and we commend you for your dedication and understanding of the situation that we all found ourselves in. Gulf Coast State College was dedicated to ensuring that your education continued and you were determined as well and we are so very proud of all of you. Faculty and staff, I cannot thank you enough for the way you rallied and so quickly adjusted the delivery of education to ensure a safe learning environment for these graduates so they could continue with their studies. I could not be more proud of your efforts to keep the ball rolling during these times. In fact, I think it was more of a keep the balls in the air type of effort given the rapidly changing situations um, that we've endured over the past couple of years. Also a very, very special thank you to the Gulf Coast State College administration for understanding and supporting the unique needs presented to the Health Sciences Division as we continue to provide the highest quality education to all of our healthcare disciplines. At a time when all eyes were on our nation's healthcare system, our professions were being highlighted, scrutinized, celebrated, and challenged. We thank you for providing us with the resources we needed to ensure our education wasn't delayed and the need in our community continued to be met. There's another very important group here that deserves mention. We need to recognize those important family members, friends, and significant others who have been so supportive of the success of these students. So if you qualify as a person who has ever given money to, so you have to stand. I know there's a lot of you that have given money to these, to these graduates. So if you have given money to, stand up, babysat for. I know there's, there's no one standing and I'm just not believing that. If you have dog or cat sat for, you've wiped tears for, this everybody, right? No. <laughs> Provided food for, been practiced on, <laughs> right? You get the idea. So all of you, all of you should be standing by now. Um, so you're also to be commended for the ultimate success of these graduates. So thank you. Graduates, you entered this program with a desire in your heart to be a nurse, and you now leave with the skills to use your education to not only better your lives, but to impact those who will now rely on you to care for them. Your faculty have prepared you well and will remain now your mentor and colleagues as you enter the nursing profession. I love the quote on the front of your program. It says, a little consideration, a little thought of others makes all the difference. Remember those words, the excitement of this day and how you got here. Use it as motivation to continue to hold high standards for yourself every day and to make a difference in this world, personally and professionally. You are the next generation of nurses and we all will be depending on you and your expertise to help drive the healthcare industry into an inclusive direction for years to come. As you leave Gulf Coast State College, I challenge each of you to remain active alumni supporters of your college and the nursing program while continuing to pursue further education and opportunities. Soon, as each one of you walk across the stage, we will hear a little bit about your future plans. I anticipate many of you will mention continuing your education. Remember, we are depending on you. You are the future of healthcare. In case you hadn't already heard, we have a fabulous Bachelor of Science degree program in nursing right here at home. 
Dr. Chitwood is right waving at you down here in front, and he will be happy to point you in the right direction and get you started on your way out the door. <clears throat> or come see me. I'll point you in the right direction as well. I wish you the best in your chosen career. I hope you maintain a lifetime of passion for your profession, and I offer you my sincerest congratulations. So let's get the celebration started. As a program coordinator, it is my honor to present the Nursing Department Awards. So before I would like to proceed, I would like to take a moment to thank the friends, family, and relatives of these students for your support to these students over the past two years. We are fortunate that we have been able to continue the program using a variety of formats, including virtual and online, in-person classes and labs to enable the students to complete the program. Despite the challenges presented by the ongoing pandemic, these students have shown remarkable resilience and strength, and we could not be prouder of them today. It is tradition for the nursing faculty to nominate and select recipients of the nursing department uh, pinning awards. These awards are given to students exemplifying the characteristics of each award. The first award is the Scholastic Achievement Award. This award is given to the graduate who achieved the highest grade point average calculated on their GCSC transcript and throughout the completion of the nursing curriculum. It represents an outstanding achievement. To receive this award, the recipient must be committed to excellence and meet the difficult and numerous challenges presented in the nursing program. The student who will receive this award has consistently maintained the highest level of academic success within the program and has achieved the highest overall GPA in this cohort. With an overall GPA of seven point, of uh, three point seven eight, the recipient. Well, I would say she's really smart. The recipient of the Fall 2021 Scholastic Achievement Award goes to Janine Giacanovo. So we are very proud of your achievements, and I'm sure your family, friends, and your classmates are proud of you, too. And she earned an A in advanced adult care. So way to go, Janine. <laughs> Yay. So the second award is the Outstanding Student Nurse Award. This award is presented to the graduate who demonstrates a high degree of clinical expertise and professionalism during the program and in the clinical setting. According to the faculty, this student demonstrated professionalism throughout the program, not only in the classroom, but also in the clinical setting. She consistently cooperates with the faculty and other students. She is a flexible learner and adapts to change easily. The recipient of this award is Kelly Wilt. Then we have an Outstanding Leadership Award. This award is given to the graduate who has exhibited outstanding leadership skills, not only among classmates, but also within the nursing profession. This student is a self-motivated student who has exemplified what leadership means. She has gone above and beyond to make sure the cohort was going in the right direction. This student does everything confidently and encourages confidence in others. Selected by the faculty, the recipient of this award is Wendy Davis. <laughs> so please come to the podium. <laughs>
So now we come to the history of the nursing pens, and we're going to ask Ms. Nancy Gibson to come to the podium to tell us about the significance of the uh, Nightingale pen and the nursing pen. Before I begin, I have to tell the graduates that I received a message about 6 a.m. this morning that Mrs. Glenda Hanna was not feeling well, and she would not be here today, but I am supposed to tell you that she loves and adores every one of you, and you know I would be in trouble if I didn't do that. <laughs> well, you've come a long way in the last several semesters, and today, not only will you be graduating, but you will be receiving a mark of achievement, your nursing pen. The nursing pen is a thousand-year-old symbol of service to others. And that's what you have decided to do with your choice to become a nurse, serve as a caregiver to others. Throughout history, various symbols have been used to identify these caregivers. Early symbols include the Maltese cross, the emblems worn by the guilds, and the gold and silver medals given to nurses to symbolize professional achievement. During the medieval period, caregivers in monasteries and convents were identified by the habits they wore. During the Crusades, a group of men, known as the Knights of the Order of the Hospital of St. John the Baptist, cared for injured crusaders. When new monks were initiated into the order, they vowed to serve the sick and wounded soldiers. The, in this initiation ceremony, each monk was given a white Maltese cross, and while on the battlefield, these men wore black tunics over their armor, carried no weapons, and wore the white Maltese cross around their necks. The tradition of the nursing pen began in the 1860s in the most appropriate place, the Nottingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London, England. Florence Nightingale was awarded the Red Cross of St. George in recognition of her service to the injured during the Crimean War. She then extended this honor to only her most talented nursing students by, by presenting each of them with a Medal of Excellence. In the 19th century, many hospitals adopted Nightingale's ideas and started their own schools for education and training for nurses. These schools awarded gold or sil silver medals to students who excelled in their nursing education. Gradually, many of these schools started giving a medal or badge to all graduates of their program. The earliest known nursing pen used in the United States was designed for the Bellevue Hospital in New York City. The Bellevue pen was designed by Tiffany and Company. You know, that little blue box that all we ladies like? Okay. Um, and it was adopted in 1880 and worn by graduates. The pen includes a crane representing vigilance surrounded by a wreath of poppies signifying the role of nurses in relieving pain and bringing rest to the suffering. The unbroken circle of blue with the word Bellevue at the bottom represents constancy. I hope the pen you receive today is only the first of several that you will obtain during your nursing career. This pen identifies you as a graduate from the Gulf Coast State College Associate Degree Nursing Program, but I hope all of you will go on to receive a nursing pen from a baccalaureate program and even a doctoral program. The nursing pen, being unique to each nursing school, identifies the source of a nurse's education, but more importantly, it conveys a message to patients and families that you have successfully completed a rigorous and challenging nursing program and you are now ready to go serve those in need. So for the audience, um, as the students come across the stage, you will see as they come forward, they're going to place their nursing badge on the tree as a rite of passage before they receive their nursing pen. Thank you. So now it is time for the presentation of the nursing pens. The nursing students seated here today have taken the first step from student to novice practitioners. We have assembled here today to recognize their accomplishments. Ms. April Yates, the fourth semester faculty, will place the pen on each student as they walk across the stage. And while they are being pinned, the students pinning statements with personal words of thanks and plans for the future will be read out loud. 
So I would ask, like to ask the first row of students to rise and come forward to the stage to be pinned and to place their badges on the tree. Tori Adams. <laughs> Tori is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank Jeremy Martin, Teresa Adams, Rodney Adams, and Miss Yates. Her plans for the future include uh, currently being unemployed in the field, interested in relocated, and is interested in OB. <laughs> Adrian Alred. She says, when I started this program, I never expected to meet some of the most supportive and intelligent people in my life. I really appreciate the friends I've made, and I'm proud we've made it to the end together. I am so grateful for my family and their steadfast determination that I can do this, as well as my boyfriend, Bailey, for always encouraging me. Here's to new beginnings. <laughs> Haley Bonner. She was born in South Alabama, raised here in Panama City, Florida. She says, I would like to thank my mama for her encouraging and supporting me throughout nursing school and my whole life. I would like to thank nursing school for giving me the sweetest and most encouraging friends. I could not have done this without y'all. I am beyond grateful to my family and friends for giving me the strength I need, needed to succeed and for proudly being here with me today. I will be working on the progressive care unit at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Madison Calhoun is from Lynn Haven, Florida. She would like to thank her family and loved ones for the constant support and encouragement throughout this difficult journey. She has accepted a job on the PCU unit through the STAR RN program at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center beginning in February and is also excited to begin her nursing career. Thank you. Thank you. Rose Olivia Coburn. She is from Panama City, Florida. Rose would like to thank her friends and family, especially her mom and dad, for all of their support. Rose plans to begin her nursing career in February, working in the emergency department at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center. Wendy Davis. She is from Northeastern Pennsylvania. She says, I would like to thank all of my family, friends, and classmates that helped me get here today, especially my husband, Brian Davis. Without their help, I could not have made it through. I will be starting classes for my BSN in January. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren K. DeChudis. She is from Vera Beach, Florida. She wants to thank my husband, Napoleon DeChudis, my rock. Thank you for always motivating and encouraging me. I couldn't have done nursing school without you. I love you. My mother, Patricia White, and my brother, John Schultz, for your continuous support and love, and my why. <laughs> my kids, Gino DeChudis, Adele DeChudis, for your patience and for letting mommy study these past few years. You are both my world. <laughs> She says, my plan is to pursue my BSN locally and ultimately, ultimately become a nurse practitioner. While in nursing school, I have fallen in love with labor and delivery in sight. As far as where as I will go, we will see where the world guides me. The sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shelby Lynn Decker. <laughs> Shelby is from Panama City, Florida. She says, I would like to thank my mom and my grandparents, Mrs. Carolyn Angelic and Demetrius, and among other friends and family for pushing and supporting me every step of the way. She wants to continue my education at Gulf Coast State College in the BSN program while working in the residency program at Bay Medical in the emergency department, eventually becoming a traveling nurse and obtaining my nurse practitioner license. <laughs> Stephanie Dixon. She's from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. She says, I would like to thank my family and friends for their continuous support throughout my journey as a nursing student. 
Professor April Yates for so graciously giving an outstanding amount of support and care towards me and my fellow classmates during this last semester as nursing students. Lastly, all of my fellow classmates for making these past two years the best years of my life and always lending a helping hand when I needed it the most. She says I plan to become a travel nurse and visit all the states I have yet to see while continuing my studies and on my way to become a nurse practitioner. <laughs> Elizabeth Dorman is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank Mom, Dad, Colton, Colby, Scarlett, and Laura, who is was my lifeboat. Attending University of West Florida for their BSN program, I am also currently entering multiple job offers in the emergency department of surrounding hospitals. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Evans. She is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank Mom and Dad, Christy and Keith Evans, brother and sister Hayden and Christian Evans, and all my professors. I plan to work at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center on the orthosurgical floor. I hope to eventually work in labor and delivery one day. Thank you. <laughs> Sidon Bakari <laughs> says, I would like to thank God for ordering my steps according to his will and guiding me along this journey that began four years ago. I owe an immeasurable amount of gratitude to my dearest husband, Chase. I could not have done it without your boundless love and support. I would also like to thank my beautiful children for motivating me beyond comprehension. Finally, I would like to thank our instructors at Gulf Coast for advocating for us, believing in us, and being our compass while guiding us to this very long-awaited moment. We did it. <laughs> Allie Farrow <laughs> is from Columbus, Georgia. She says, I would like to thank my parents, James and Christy Farrow, and everyone that listened to me complain and stress for these last two long years. <laughs> my plans are to further my education with Gulf Coast State College by getting my bachelor's degree in nursing while pursuing a career in critical care and in ICU, with the goals of eventually becoming a nurse anesthetist. Thank you. <laughs> Caitlin Flores <laughs> is from La Quinta, California. She would like to thank my sweet husband, Joshua, my baby girl, Emery, my family, all my friends, my classmates, and teachers. <laughs> Plans for the future are to continue my education to get my BSN and work locally in Panama City Beach. <laughs> Heather Garner. <laughs> C is originally from Arcadia, Florida, but has lived in Bay County for the past eight years. Heather would like to thank her friends and family for their support and believing in her. In particular, she would like to thank her grandparents, mother, and Vince for their encouragement and guidance. She has accepted an RN position on 3 North at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center, and one day she would like to be a travel nurse. <laughs> Trapper Gerds. <laughs> Trapper, I said it should be Gerdis, I'm sorry. She, uh, he is from Kirksville, Missouri. He would like to thank Rebecca Kelly, Dr. Shelley Thornton, April Yates. His plans for the future include earning an MSN and becoming a traveling emergency room nurse practitioner. Thank you. Janine G. <laughs> She is a missionary kid and then a military wife. It's hard to pick where I'm from. Panama City Beach has been my favorite place to live, so now I'm claiming it as home. I am truly thankful to everyone who helped us through this journey, from the friends with words of encouragement to our family who flew in from other countries to help with child care. You all made this dream come true. A very special thank you to my kids who picked up my slack, learned new life skills, and did so with minimal complaining. Above all, I want to thank my husband, who not only stood by me during this adventure, but pushed me to go after my dream and daily lifted my spirit with love and encouragement. And she says, after 10 months of being apart so I could finish school, we are, going, we are moving to Texas next week so we can be a family again. I have applied to the LMD internship program in San Antonio, Texas. I plan on entering a bridge program to earn my master's degree. <laughs> Alexis Hall. <laughs> she is from Defuniac Springs. She'd like to thank my parents, Crystal and Jason, brother Gavin, and boyfriend Cade. 
She says, I plan on staying in the area after graduation, but my plans are to pass my NCLEX and hopefully get a job as a bedside nurse. Thank you. <laughs> McKinley Hart. She is from Panama City Beach. She would like to thank my mom and the rest of my family, along with Alyssa Lang, for sticking this out with me. Her plans for the future, after the NCLEX, I will begin work in the ER at Gulf Coast Regional, Regional Medical Center. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tyler Hartsfield. He is from Mariana, Florida. He would like to thank mom, dad, grandma, his partner Jay, the rest of his family, and all of his friends, his nursing instructors, and all of the nurses who helped him along the way. His plans for the future, in the long run, he hopes to work as an ICU nurse while going back to school to become a CRNA or a nurse anesthetist. Okay. <laughs> Kayla Hess. She is from Panama City Beach. She would like to thank Justin Hess, her husband, Julie Hess, mother-in-law, Tom and Jane DeBeer. And plans for the future, she accepted a position at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center in the emergency department. Thank you. John Hunton. He is originally from Bel Air, Maryland, but moved to Panama City, Florida three years ago to get away from the cold weather and to be walking across this stage. <laughs> He says, I would like to thank my mom and dad for all the love and support. I would like to thank each and every one of my classmates. Lastly, I would like to thank all the professors for getting us through Hurricane Michael, a pandemic, and still being able to graduate on time. Plans for the future, I am currently working as a nurse intern at Ascension Sacred Heart Bay Medical in the emergency department and hope to jump right into the nurse position there. Thank you. <laughs> Kim Kingsbury. She says, nursing school, how to describe it. It's a lot like giving birth. Once it's over, you tend to forget just how painful the process really was. Ouch. <laughs> I want to thank my professors, friends, and everyone close to me during the difficult times and the proud moments of my two years in nursing school, but it's not over yet, just yet, so to be continued. <laughs> Brittany Colas. Raised in Montana, graduated high school in New York, and have lived in Panama City for six years. She would like to thank my family, friends, staff, and fellow students who helped and supported me along the way. My three fur babies for the extra love and my incredible husband, Jonathan. She plans to move to Massachusetts to be with my husband, continue my education for my BSN, and pursue a position in the ER, wound care, or as an operating room nurse. Caitlin Kovacs. She is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank my parents, Paul and Shannon Kovacs, for always pushing me to do my best, loving and supporting me, and being there no matter what. I would also like to thank my boyfriend, Tyler Tavares, for the constant love and support and patience and motivation he has given me while pursuing my RN degree. Lastly, I would like to thank my fellow classmate and friend, Lauren DeChutis, for being my rock throughout the program and with constant motivation and support. She plans to continue my education this upcoming January with the GCSC BSN nursing program. I also plan to work as a bedside nurse in the hospital and see where the great profession of nursing will take me with the goals one day of becoming a nurse practitioner. Thank you. <laughs> Al Alyssa Lang <laughs> is from Panama City Beach. She says, I'd like to thank my family and my teachers along with McKinley for pushing me to study even when I didn't want to. Her plans for the future, to, I plan to start working on PCU, then later transfer to ICU and apply for CRNA school. Okay. Jenna Lorera. She is from Roswell, New Mexico. I would like to thank my family and all the amazing teachers I have had throughout the program. I would also like to thank myself for completing this part of the journey. <laughs> she says, I am a traveler at heart. I am not sure yet where I'll continue or where I will end up. I haven't found my thing yet. I am just going along with the flow. <laughs> Taylor Mai. She is from Panama City, Florida. 
She would like to thank my parents, Hang and Kong Mai, my siblings, Madison, Hannah, and Andy Mai, my best friend, Haley, all of my professors. She plans to move to Tampa, Florida with the plan of becoming a nurse in the emergency department to gain experience and hopefully travel. <laughs> Madison Moore. She is from Georgia. Uh-oh. She's from Georgia and doing the tree in. <laughs> okay. It'll be okay. It's all right. She would also like to thank my boyfriend, Zach, who supported me even through my mental breakdowns over the test days and provided me with sushi, as well as my parents, especially my mom, who would call me every 15 minutes and ask me if I'm studying. She says she plans on working in the ER and eventually becoming either a nurse anesthetist or a nurse practitioner in the plastic surgery field. Okay. <laughs> Savannah Parker. Savannah is from Panama City, Florida. She says, I would like to thank my family for encouraging and supporting me throughout the nursing school. Additionally, thank you to my nursing class and the Gulf Coast State College faculty. I could not have done this without the love and support I have been shown over the two years. I have accepted a position at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center on PCU. Thank you. Okay. Bianca Perez. She is originally from La Quinta, California, but she has lived in Panama City for the past two years thanks to the military. She would like to thank her husband, Edwin, her son, Ezekiel, her mothers, Diana and Sophia, her sister, Jessica, and her best friend, Sasha. She never would have been able to go through, get through nursing school without the love and support of you guys. Bianca plans to continue education at GCSC for her BSN while working at home as a home health pediatric nurse. Her long-term goal is to become a pediatric nurse practitioner. <laughs> Adam Real. He is from Salt Lake City, Utah. He would like to thank his wife, Amy Tom, his dog, Pogo, his cats, Fig, Thumper, Ronan, and Pew. <laughs> Adam is currently a paramedic working at the Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center ER and plans to pursue a career in emergency nursing here in Panama City. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Laura Sellers. <laughs> Laura would first like to thank her husband, Austin, for his unceasing support throughout this long journey. They have been married seven years and have three children together. She is overjoyed to have the success to show her children to never give up on their goals, no matter how difficult the path. She would also like to thank her parents, bonus parents, grandparents, her sister, and everyone else who played a key role in pushing her to success. Their support means the world to her. Last but not least, she sends a big thank you to her best friend and nursing school partner who kept her afloat from day one. Laura is following her dream of becoming an NICU nurse. She was once an NICU baby herself and plans to one day become an NICU nurse practitioner. That's neonatal intensive care. <laughs> this may be the end of one journey, but it's only the beginning of a new one. Elizabeth Talley. <laughs> she is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank my parents, my brother, my friends, my boyfriend, and my coworkers for the continued support in making this accomplishment possible. She says, I am currently employed with Calhoun County EMS as an EMT and plan to continue my career in emergency medicine while working at a local emergency room. In the future, I hope to continue a career in pre-hospital care as a flight nurse. Okay. <laughs> Kelly Wilt. She is from Roaring Spring, Pennsylvania. She would like to thank husband Colin Wilt, parents Daniel and Elizabeth Yingling, in-laws Mike and Michelle Wilt. Her plans for the future are accepted a position at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center on PCU. Future goal is to be an ICU nurse. <laughs> Jessica Woodruff is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank my husband, Hunter Woodruff, who has put up with my emotional roller coaster over the last two years. My, mo my mom, Kathy Castle, and mother-in-law, Lisa Hayslip Reynolds, and the rest of my family who have been my support and cheer squad as well as my Sunday school class who has prayed me through this final semester. 
Plans for the future? She says, I have not figured my life out past the end of the year, but I am interested in labor and delivery and eventually travel nursing. Thank you. So now the graduating students have put together a class memories PowerPoint presentation, which will be shown next. So the participants on stage are going to be invited to come down and sit in the front row on, um, so we can watch the uh, presentation also. And then after the presentation, we'll come back to the podium. So now we're going to have the lights dim down um, for the presentation.
Okay, that was quite a show. <laughs> so we're almost through, but we do need to do the Nightingale um, Pledge. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So um, Florence Nightingale is noted for her contributions to the emerging field of nursing. And among one of her most noted contributions is her promotion of cleanliness and hygiene of the environment, which remains extremely important today during the emergence of a new and severe disease. Students will now join in for the lighting of the candles and recitation of a Nightingale Pledge, and the pledge will be led by Trepper Gertis. Uh, so Trepper, please come to the podium to lead your class in the Nightingale Pledge. Nightingale Pledge, and I believe y'all are going to have the students come up to the stage. I pledge in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession faithfully. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all professional matters committed to keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the presence of my profession. I will devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. So I'm going to make a few closing statements while they are returning to their seats. So we believe their education and life experiences has, as new RNs has just begun. I would be remiss if I didn't encourage these students to continue their education to pursue a bachelor's and graduate degrees in nursing. So we do have an RN to BSN program offered in hybrid format, which allows students to continue their education while completing classes uh, online. Um, which is a format they've been already shown to be proficient in. So we invite these students to come back to GCSD to continue their educational journey with us. We have several entrance points and can be done part-time or full-time in as little as three semesters. And Dr. Chitwood wants to help you reach your educational goals, so please be free. Feel free to contact him when you are ready. Uh, so now I'd like the students and faculty to please rise for the closing benediction provided by Mr. Bonner. And after the benediction, the faculty will exit the auditorium, followed by the students, followed by the audience. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for the families of each nursing graduate. I thank you for the sacrifices that have been made that allowed this day to happen. And now I ask that you please be with each and every one as they travel and guide them safely back to their home. Father God, we love you and praise you, and we ask for all these things in your precious and holy name. Amen.